Good morning, YouTube. Um, want to take a few minutes to uh, talk about how to get into trucking. Well, <clears throat> if you found this video or videos relating to this, you've already made a decision basically to get into trucking. Um, and I'll do another video later. Um, <clears throat> about certain things to watch out for and be careful for. Um, but as of right now, there are three ways of doing it. <clears throat> Some people may disagree. Say, oh, no, 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 there's only two ways to do it. There's only two. It's like, no, there's actually three. And I'll go through each way of doing it. <clears throat> um, the first two ways involves pretty much the same thing. Going to school. Now, <clears throat> you can either, one way is, you do your... Do some research. So I got a ambulance driving by. <clears throat> anyway, um, you can do research, and you can uh, find a company that will agree to pay for your school or that's got their own school part of their uh, uh, their industry <clears throat> so but doing it that way you some companies require you to sign a contract that you will work for them for so long or um, if you decide to quit <clears throat> you will agree to pay that the company um, the cost of the school rather it be three four five thousand uh, dollars <clears throat> Swift, CR England, Prime, Warner, Schneider. They're all some of the companies that have their own school within their company. <clears throat> and capable or, you know, sending it to a school. Now, I haven't heard too many good things about Schneider, CR England. Um, Warner is kind of okay um, other than that I haven't heard too much of anything about I've heard from one guy who went to Schneider who's also a good friend of mine so <clears throat> and he went to Schneider so and I guess they were a pretty decent uh, company to go through <clears throat> yeah, you got Schneider, Warner, Prime, Swift, CR England, um, and those are just the ones off the top of my head at the moment, so I know there's more. I think there's more. I don't know. I can do another video later, you know, to... <clears throat> that'll give off all the, you know, who's doing what, you know. So, second way of doing it is, is you pay for the school yourself. You save up the two, or the three, four, five thousand dollars. You research, a, you know, 
pretty much every major city's got at least one or two truck driving schools. <clears throat> so you can save up the money and do it yourself. Some companies are... Some companies will reimburse... I had to put you on pause for a second. I had a truck coming in. Um... I mean, he's coming back around, so... I had to put you on pause again because I... The guy came out and... Uh... It's like it opened the doors. So... You can see where I left off. Either find a company they can pay for a school. I already covered that. Um, you can save up to three thousand, three, four, five, whatever, you know, money to uh, find your own school. There should be like two or three. <clears throat> At least two. I want to say there should be at least a minimum of two truck driving schools <clears throat> in any city. Any major city. So, um, if you're away from a major city, you know, it, it might be a little difficult to get to. Um, I guess it all depends on how far out of the city you live. I mean, if you're 100 miles away, then yeah, I wouldn't recommend driving back and forth. I wouldn't recommend driving uh, back and forth to uh, your home and uh, to school because it's a three. Week. It can be a minimum of three weeks. <clears throat> It's a minimum of three weeks, and some schools also go up to, I want to say six weeks. It's either six or ten weeks. So a minimum of three, but can go up to about ten. Um, and when you, you can do your research and find a company, some companies will reimburse tuition after you have been signed on with them for so long. Um, I think Swift, Swift, Warner, and CR England, and maybe Schneider. Are, from my understanding, I, I need to do some research on this, but uh, to my understanding, <clears throat> those are some of the companies you pay for the schooling and then they reimburse the tuition as long as uh, you're, you're with them for so long. Mm. Now, the third way of doing it. <clears throat> the way a lot of people don't tell you how or don't tell you how to do it because it's not recommended. <clears throat> You can find a local company who is willing to train you um, <clears throat> now all you, all you have to do is go out read the book get your learner's permit and then you ride with one of their drivers for you know however long they designate to be a passenger or for you to for training um, and then you use their equipment to go get um, to do your testing for your actual license and that's the way I did it um, <clears throat> I got my license out of Colorado so I found a company uh, Cassie C-A-S-I which stands for, I believe, Colorado Asphalt Specialties Incorporated, Cassie. And they're a smaller uh, asphalt local running company. They run, 
the mainly the single axle dump trucks. <clears throat> but you pull around one of their little trailers sometimes and pull some, you know, equipment, uh, backhoe or, you know, whatever. And the guy I went to for mic testing, um, was a backwoods uh, inspector in Colorado. I don't think he practices anymore. So, um, <clears throat> now the upside is you don't spend a whole lot of money. You can actually make more money doing it that way, you know, for your training. Um, because you're basically working. You're, you're out there right away. The downside is um, it's harder to... <clears throat> if your goal is to be able to get out there on the road... You know, do over the road, over the road driving. <clears throat> it's a lot harder t to get into the over the road because a lot of people want experience, or they want to. They either want the experience, <clears throat> or they want the school. Uh, when I turned, I got my license when I was 18. Um, <clears throat> when I turned 21, I wanted to hit the road. I wanted to be out there driving coast to coast. But nobody would hire me. Swift wouldn't hire me. Warner wouldn't hire me. Schneider, nobody because I had the experience to drive the truck but I don't have the over the road experience to get out there on the road <clears throat> and <clears throat> that's one thing they want is either you have the experience already or they don't or you don't have the experience and they send you to school it's kind of a catch 22 type of thing I think um, my personal opinion about it is is okay we want you to have the experience to hit the road or else we want you to spend the money on the school or be able to sign a contract so but that's my own that's my personal opinion uh, rather it's true or not it's ten to one half a dozen the other <clears throat> um, yeah basically they want they want to try and exploit money out of you any way they can um, I've heard CR England was had a, uh, a deal there for a while that, you know, they were doing whatever, anything and everything they could to uh, get money out of drivers. So, um, I don't work for CR England. My nephew does. I haven't talked to him for in a while. So, <clears throat> I guess I could. I give an update on that once I get a hold of him and see what he says about it. So, um, but that's it. That's all for this video. Um, like I said, there, there's things in a later video that I'll get to. <clears throat> um, one thing is uh, making sure you get a proper trainer. The video I did before this one details some of the stuff that a trainer is supposed to do. 
the uh, certain things that he's supposed to work with you with. Um, okay, if you're um, what what he's basically supposed to be teaching you. Schooling is basically to get you your license and out the door. <clears throat> they only give you the basics. They don't give you, you know, everything you need to know. So, but an earlier video, or my last video, I described on how to, or what a trainer is supposed to do from navigation, backing practice, um, <clears throat> And certain other things uh, that goes along with this truck. And some companies, <clears throat> once you're out there, uh, you can tend to be on, on a truck with a trainer for a minimum of six weeks. Uh, so, yeah, six weeks. Um... I'd say a little bit longer, but, you know, that's just me. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd go for like eight, eight or ten weeks. Because there's certain things that, you know, that I'd show you, like um, sling and iron. Yeah, we got another truck coming in here. Oh, this place is a little busy today, so... I uh, just had another truck come in. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, there's another video I'm going to do. It's, uh, it's proper shifting. Um, I know there's several videos out there like that, but, you know. And right now I'm just operating at 10 speed. But I can still show you the differences between um, the the difference. I, well, I won't get into that right now. But <clears throat> I, but I can still show uh, some of the differences about you know. How to shift different types of transmissions even with this even with just this straight 10 speed you know we'd have to I'd have to use my imagination or, or you would have to so but that's for a later video so, uh, as of right now I'm well, I'll be seeing you